today. All of you have come to celebrate Bab Dada's birthday. Have you not? Bab Dada too has come to celebrate the birthday of all of you. You will just celebrate Bab Dada's birthday. But Bab Dada has come to celebrate the birthday of the whole Brahmin clan. No matter whether you're sitting far away in this land or far away in some corner abroad, any soul who has become a Brahmin and belongs to the Brahmin clan Brahmin or belongs to the Brahmin clan, Bab Dada is celebrating your birthday. You are celebrating that too. You are celebrating everyone's birthday, are you not? Or is it the birthday of just those who are sitting here? You remember everyone, do you not? Look, everyone is watching to see whether you are also celebrating their birthday or not. So, you are celebrating everyone's birthday. Congratulations, congratulations, congratulations to everyone. To celebrate means to have that zeal and enthusiasm. To celebrate means to have that zeal and enthusiasm. So you have that enthusiasm in your heart, do you? Wow, our Alokic birthday, wow. So today from Amritvela, you have all had a lot of zeal and enthusiasm in your hearts. For your birthday. Bhav Dada even saw the cards. You see them with those eyes. But Bhav Dada sees them in a subtle form before any of you see them. Bhav saw how all of you have so much zeal and enthusiasm to show the enthusiasm in your hearts. Nowadays, emails are very cheap. Email is it's very cheap, isn't it? So everyone sends a lot of emails. Everything reaches Bab Dada, whether it is an email, a card, a letter, or a thought in your heart. If you collected all the cards, letters, emails, and thoughts, you collected all the thoughts, cards, from everywhere, from Amritvela, you would enjoy yourselves a great deal just seeing them. This is a unique exhibition. On a birthday, you make a wish for the future. On your birthday, the number of your age increases. And so you have now moved forward one year in the same way.
in your efforts, in your invaluable lives, in your minds, that is, in your thoughts, Your thoughts, in the decision power of your intellects, in your words, in having the power to make others into embodiments of success in a second. In terms of relations and connections, let all those who are in connection With you, with you experience one attainment or another at every moment. Shanti, Shanti. Welcome to Avyakti Parivar. Today is day 16. Transform the old sanskars and perform the dance of harmonizing sanskars. Today's topic is sanskars equal to Pap Dada. Avyakti signal. Do not touch even slightly any of your sanskars that are not like those of Bab Dada. You have already climbed the ladder of the body and bodily relations. Now, do not let any old sanskars emerge because as are your sanskars, so will be your form. Just as Bab Dada's qualities are, you also need to have the same qualities, the same task, the same words and the same thoughts and then it will emerge through everyone's lips that you appear to be the same. Now we listen from Moini Didi. Om Shanti.
ओम शांति इज एवरीबडी डूइंग ओके आर यू ऑल एंजॉइंग यहाँ पर बाबा के घर में मौज बना रहे हैं वी आर ऑल्सो एंजॉइंग हियर इन बाबा होम लास्ट नाइट वी आर गॉन टू ज्ञान सरोवर करीब पांच सौ से भी ज्यादा डबल फॉरेनर्स मोर देन फाइव हंड्रेड डबल फॉरेनर्स हैव कम टू ज्ञान सरोवर and from there we went to pandapavan jaise hi jaate hain courtyard dekhte hain and as soon as we go there we see the courtyard everyone gets gathered to sit in the courtyard so we all sit in the courtyard there so it was a very nice feeling went to baba's room had a nice conversation with baba so we are having a nice time aren't we abhi to 6 mahine You still have six months till March. Baba's transmission season goes on. You all can plan and come in any of the turn. Okay, keep thinking about it. Who knows? Looking at the state of the world now, so whoever can come should come. Baba's sanskaros ke baare mein bahut baat kar rahe hain. Baba is talking a lot about the sanskars. Sanskar parivartan. harmonizing sanskars transforming sanskars old sanskars sanskars equal to the father itna sanskaron par kyon zor dete hain why is baba emphasizing on sanskars so much kyunki because bahut samay se over a over a long period of time sankalp karne ki bolne ki karm karne ki आदत हो जाती है सो इट बिकम्स अ हैबिट द वे वी थिंक स्पीक एंड डू सो एंड बिकॉज़ ऑफ द हैबिट द मैन इज कंपेल्ड नो ही इज कंपेल्ड ही शुडंट ही डोंट वांट टू थिंक ही डोंट वांट टू स्पीक एंड स्टिल ही डज इट और सबसे बड़ी बात उसके बाद द बिगेस्ट थिंग इज एंड आफ्टर दैट इफ ही वांट्स टू ट्रांसफॉर्म and realize that also doesn't happen so baba is giving us time now we have to create divine sanskars baba says you have to create sanskars like the father today it's like bap dada not just baba but bap dada nirakar hai shri baba is in corporeal he is our father satguru hai He's our teacher. He's our satguru. Brahma Baba is also our father because we are in a Brahman life. So the sanskars of the incorporeal and the sanskars of Brahma Baba. So there also, uh, the incorporeal soul is in the corporeal body, and we are also incorporeal in a corporeal body. the importance of this body is now uh, when the soul enters a body it is able to come into action and interactions if the soul is just in the incorporeal form the sanskars don't emerge but when the soul comes in the corporeal form ko baat karne ke liye brahma ka mukh chahiye just like when shri baba has to speak he needs the mouth of uh, brahma he needs the body of brahma so go a little deeper and think what is baba sanskar and what are the dada sanskar brahma baba baba sanskar baba himself tells about it baba gives us his own introduction how he is incorporeal he is egoless He's wiseless, and in expansion, his virtues also are there. In the same way, in Sakar Baba, the corporeal form Baba Brahma Baba, he would always say that just like Shiv Baba takes the body of um, Brahma Baba, he takes it on loan, he takes it as a support. तो हमें भी मुजात्मा को भी सो वी आल्सो आई द सोल शुड ऑलवेज कंसीडर दैट आई हैव टेकन दिस बॉडी एज लोन सेवा में तो आई हैव टेकन इट ऑन लोन फॉर वर्ल्ड सर्विस तो जैसे कि एंड आई नीड टू बी ऑन वर्ल्ड सर्विस कर्तव्य को देखते हुए 
So seeing, looking at Baba's virtues and his um, responsibility, our virtues and responsibilities should be like Bab Saman. From that day, I have not said this, that if we think that whose child are we, you know, we can compare each one of our lives with a lokik. We can see what sanskars the soul has received. The sanskars that we receive from the lokiks, mother and father, uh, whoever the elder ones are at home. I remember a lot of good example stories. So the disciplines and uh, that we learned from the Lokik Kom. We learned very good things from our Lokik parents and sanskars. Mama would always tell me she has very good sanskars. And I used to wonder, where did I get this from? And when I came to Baba, my teacher was Didi Manmohini. And she used to emphasize a lot of uh, on Mariadas and uh, to follow the Srimad. Every word that we spoke. So what the little time that you have, think about the sanskars of Bab Dada in the form of incorporeal and also in the corporeal. And we need to make our sanskars like that. So first, uh, is the thought, then we speak in our words, and then through our vision and our words and our deeds. First is the awareness. Who am I? And whose child am I? And because of the awareness, then it affects our attitude. And what happens from our attitude affects our vision. And it has, our attitude has an effect on our drishti, vision. As is the attitude, so our vision. If you have a loving attitude, that will be visible on your vision. And with this vision, a world is created, relationship, our relationships, our interactions are all created. And as is your vision, so are your words, and then your interactions. So as is the awareness, so at your attitude, attitude affects vision, vision has an effect on our words, speech. And then our actions. So if you remember these things, we have received Bab Dada's sanskars as our inheritance. What attention do we need to pay? That I need to become like Baba, equal to Baba. Sanskar Bab Dada ke saman. So, sanskars equal to Bab Dada. Do not touch even slightly any of your sanskars that are not like those of Bab Dada. They will come. It will get emerged. You have already climbed the ladder of body and bodily relations. Now, do not let any old sanskars emerge, because as are your sanskars, so will be your form. 
Just as Bab Dada's qualities are, you also need to have the same qualities, the same task, the same words, and the same thoughts. And then it will emerge through everyone's lips that you appear to be the same. That means they will get the experience of being equal to Baba. So, now we have an example, Brother Nirvair, who recently became a Vyakt. As a matter of uh, being a soul, go deeper. What did Brahma Baba do? And what did Brahma Baba not do? And if you remember that, there will be a balance of virtues. Otherwise, you'll become very compassionate. But it is also necessary towards that soul. But it's a family. It's one organization. See, keeping everything in mind, there should be a balance of virtues as well. So what aim should we have? We need to become equal to Bab Dada. Om Shanti. Avyakt Murli Revision 1939 Gyan Ke Ratan Ke Moti अवेक्तवाणी तारीख है तीस जून उन्नीस सौ चौहत्तर अवेक्त स्थिति में स्थित होने से अवेक्त मर्डी जून थर्टी एट नाइनटीन सेवेंटी फोर मेक योर एफर्ट इंटेंस बाय स्टेबलाइजिंग योरसेल्फ इन द अव्यक्त स्टेज the soul who is free from the bondage of karma who has become perfect who has finished the cycle of rebirth in this kalpa who is the first companion of the incorporeal father the first soul to become an instrument for world benefit the soul who has attained total success for the self and in terms of the world can fully play a part wherever he wants and for as long as he wants. Since souls who have attained temporary occult powers can change their form on the basis of their powers, can the soul who has attained total powers of success and is an avyakt body not remain where he wishes for as long as he wants? अपने रूप परिवर्तन कर सकती है तो सर्व सिद्धि प्राप्त हुई आत्मा अव्यक्त रूप धारी बनकर जितना समय चाहे क्या वह उतना समय ड्रामानुसार नहीं रह सकती what is the reason for bringing the soul from the incorporeal or avyakt stage into the corporeal form? First is the bondage of karma. Second is the bondage of relations. Third is the bondage of the part of the physical world and the bondage of the body. As soon as the costume is ready, the soul is pulled from the old costume into the new costume. So just think about all these bondages from the Vyakta form to the Vyakta form. The bondage of the part of establishment is being carried out with even greater speed. Now, within this Kalpa, 
there aren't the bondages of attraction of the body of others. As a bodily being, he has finished the bondage of all the karmic accounts. Karma bandhano me aneka bandhan samapt kar liya. Since the soul has become free from all karmic accounts, the physical body and the physical world cannot pull the soul. Just as when scientists go beyond the pull of gravity into space, the earth cannot pull them. In the same way, as long as the time for playing his part in the new kalpa, in a new life, and in the new world has not come, until then, the soul, this soul is completely free and is free from physical bondages. Do you understand? Sure. This has to be continued tomorrow. Om Shanti. Om Shanti.